Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Vissart's distribution. Today, I will explain you how you can find the characteristics function of this distribution. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of applied multivariate statistics and you can see the various lectures related to the multivariate normal distributions and its various properties. Also, you can see the MLE estimators, unbiased estimator as well as the last lecture on the concept of Vissart's distribution. I hope you can subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get a notification when I uploaded my next video which is very soon. What we have learned in the last lecture related to the Vissart distribution which is available at this point and I can quickly recall you the concept what we have studied. The Vissart distribution is a family of the distribution which deals with the symmetric positive definite matrix. So if you have a capital X which follows my multivariate normal distribution then then you can define the matrix capital S which is defined by x into x transpose remember x is your p cross 1 matrix then x transpose is your 1 cross p matrix therefore x into x transpose will be your p cross p matrix and if you consider all those p cross p symmetric matrix then the matrix course defined that is a capital S is called as Vissart's matrix. We have denoted the Vistar's distribution or the matrix as a capital S which is defined as W. P is called as the dimension of the distribution. N is called as the degree of freedom and sigma is called as the positive covariance matrix. In this lecture we will see how we can define the characteristics function of this Vistar's distribution. Now before that, we all, we all know how you can define the characteristics function. It is denoted by capital phi and small t is called as generating parameter. Fine, that we all know up to the last lecture, we have defined the characteristics function. So if you have the vector x, then how you can define the characteristics function, I call as a phi of x, which is defined as expected value of e raised to power iota t complement x. Why we taken as a complement? because it's a vector value. So this capital small t is my t1, t2 and the dimension is say p. x is my x1, x2 and x into p. Then or you can say it's a column vector. Then clearly say if you multiply them you will get t1, x1, t2, x2 and so on. But we all know in the Vissart's distribution we are dealing with a matrix. So this parameter t is also my matrix this x is also my matrix. So what I can do is I can simply let phi which is in replacement of the small t which is a real matrix and instead of the x I call as a capital A which is a real symmetric matrix. Fine. Then we can define the matrix A into theta. Now if you multiply them you will get this bracket. So therefore what is the trace of this matrix? So because we all know that trace is the sum of the diagonal entries, I can write this trace is by this expression. Now clearly say this trace involvement of all these components. Hence this definition which is related to the univariate is converted into the multivariate normal distribution as this term. So that means phi of A is expected value of this number. Now our purpose is how we can define the characteristics function of the Vistar's distribution and this is the result. How we can derive that, that I can see in this lecture. But before that, we all know how we can open this expression because it's expected value. So I can write this number is into PDF of A, fine. So now my first target is how we can define the probability density function of the Vistar's distribution A. Fine. So let me firstly quickly recall you what is the PDF of the Vistar's distribution. I hope you can like and comment on my this video as it is very very useful for you. So let's say in general x is my any symmetric matrix which is a positive semi-definite and sigma is my positive definite matrix. Remember that it's a semi-definite it means x can never be zero. Then we can define the Vistar's distribution capital X Define, denoted by WP, N is the degree of freedom, sigma is the positive definite matrix. If the joint density function is defined like this manner, where this K is a greater than 0 is a constant number and 
this mod of x because x is my matrix fine x is my matrix so this is my determinant of the matrix and this sigma p is called as multivariate gamma function and it is defined like this way now based on this pdf i can define the characteristics function of this a that is the wissart's distribution don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel so now what is given to you a is my wissart's distribution so what is the pdf of this i can define like this manner fine where k is my positive gamma is my this one now what is the meaning of the pdf that means if you integrate this f of a into d of a it must be one another most important thing that you have to notice is whatever the coefficient of the a it is gamma sigma inverse the same sigma is written as this part if i written this number is my say for example b of a fine so then it will be so we can say if it is b then because it's a sigma inverse then it is a sigma but it is i can return this number as this number fine it's in the numerator because b if i return as a b inverse then it is 1 over b now let's start with the characteristics function what is the definition of this it is e raised to power iota trace of this number into f of a i can substitute the value of the f a in this expression now clearly say because we integration with respect to a this number is my constant so i can take on this number is outside now the question arises is how we can integrate this part because it's a multivariate distribution it's not an easy target for us to, we can integrate them but we can use the definition of the pdf that means integration of the f of a is my 1 so i can try to correlate this definition again with the help of this term so i can write this number is sigma raised to power n by 2 now this is my same expression now look at that what is the coefficient of a this number i can correlate with this this is sigma inverse fine but inverse is not given so i can multiply and divide it by 2 i can multiply this value i can divide it by this number fine so that i can balance this part with the help of this a coefficient now look at that which term will involve the one because the pdf is my one the same expression will be here so k fine because it inverse is not given so instead of the denominator it must be in the numerator this part and this complete integration so this which i have written with this black box or i can highlight you in this uh, this orange color this complete box what is the integration of this part as per the definition this integration is my 1 fine because of pdf definition so i can write this as a 1 therefore this number is 1 over this number then i can write this part is n by 2 i can take on is this part so it is sigma sigma inverse minus 2 iota of sigma what is the value of this sigma into sigma inverse you can see this has a dimension p so this sigma is also my p dimension so what is the sigma into sigma p that is the identity matrix of the dimension p so i write this value as a i that is the identity matrix or i can return this n by 2 in the numerator that is minus n over so this is the characteristics function of this mult of this wissart's distribution and you can see within the very very short proof you can get the with characteristics function of this capital e i hope you can like share and comment on my this video we will see the next lecture that's a very important topic that's a property of the wissart's distribution till then you can share this video with your friends like and comment on this video best of luck students happy learning